Uh, questions and comments, Honorable Minister of State for Western Diversification. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, in my role as Minister of State for Western Economic Diversification, I end up f finding myself spending a lot of time in the beautiful city of Vancouver, which I know that my colleague opposite uh, represents uh, a riding in there. One of the issues that I hear outside of my economic portfolio is the issue of the uh, marijuana dis uh, dispensaries that are operating illegally in British Columbia right now and in other cities in the country. Uh, the fact is they are operating illegally, and I'm wondering, since my colleague opposite uh, represents a riding in a city where this is a big issue for many people, if she could give her specific thoughts on the uh, marijuana dispensaries that are operating illegally in the city right now. The Honourable Member for Vancouver East. Uh, well, I thank my Honourable colleague for the question. It's actually a very good and thoughtful question because she is correct. There are numerous uh, you know, medical dispensaries for marijuana. I have probably most of them in my riding of Vancouver East. And um, the reality is, is that in Vancouver, um, the uh, local law enforcement have basically um, you know, not enforced whatever laws they could against these dispensaries, nor has the city of Vancouver in terms of any zoning or licensing. They do have businesses licenses because they're not considered to be harmful. But the member may not be aware that recently the city of Vancouver um, made an announcement that they do want to actually provide a proper licensing and sort of regulatory approach to these uh, medical dispensaries. And it was very interesting to hear the response from the Minister of Health in Ottawa, you know, who's so far away from what's going on in Vancouver. And of course, her response was nothing surprising. It was no, 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 no. This is not going to be allowed to happen. But the fact is, is that in the city of Vancouver, um, elected officials, uh, the police department, other agencies understand that it's much better to have oversight and licensing and a regulatory approach to these dispensaries to make sure that they're operating properly. And that's something, again, that's based on public interest. So, yes, there's a lot going on in Vancouver, and I expect, as, as with other issues, Vancouver will lead the way on this and will be able to bring in a proper oversight and a, and a proper licensing system. Questions and comments? The Honourable Member for 